Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about the newly released GitHub certification, and I'm going to tell you what you have to do, what you have to study to uh, successfully clear the GitHub Foundation certification. That is the first certification within the four certifications. So let's start. So GitHub has recently launched four new certifications so that people can showcase uh, their GitHub achievements through their certifications. So um, if I go back or go to the article, uh, this is their article which uh, they have released. So this is their first certification, GitHub Foundations, GitHub Actions, GitHub Advanced Security and GitHub Administration. So you have to go one by one. First, you have to complete this and then sequentially you have to complete all three. Um, so previously GitHub didn't had any official certification exam and they have only come up uh, uh, with like this certification in January this year and people have started doing the certifications. Uh, so now let's uh, specifically talk about the GitHub Foundations exam. That is the first exam, which uh, I have recently cleared the GitHub Foundations exam. So I'm the best person to tell you way to study for the GitHub Foundation exam. So there is a website learn.microsoft.com where you have the modules for the GitHub uh, Foundation exam. Let me show you. So if I go to this site and I click on prepare for GitHub Foundations exam, it redirects me to this website where I have a lot of modules and I went through all of these modules and uh, secured a badge in them. And uh, I can say like these were enough for me to clear the GitHub Foundations exam. I also tell some important topics which I felt uh, like the questions were based on those topics. So what is the difference between Git and GitHub? What are the Git and GitHub terminologies like commit, pull request, staging area, working tree, uh, review, uh, merge, these all concepts you should know about. What are the best practices of GitHub administration? Uh, what is GIST? Uh, what are GitHub products? What are GitHub code spaces? What are GitHub actions? And uh, what is the difference? Uh, what is the difference between HTML, the Markdown language? So any in any repository, you have the readme file. Within that readme file, you can use the Markdown language to uh, format it properly. And there are many more topics. Uh, so these were some of the important topics for the GitHub Foundations exam. And for the basic introduction uh, to Git and GitHub, you can uh, check out my GitHub playlist. I'll share a link uh, at the top of this video. You can check out from there. And how will this certification look like? Uh, so the exam will have 75 questions and will have a two hours of time limit. You can take the exam either uh, on site or at home. Uh, I took it at home. Uh, there will be a proper inspection of your exam area before starting if you are taking it from home. If you pass the exam, then you would receive a uh, then you would receive a badge on Credly, which I'm going to show you just uh, after this. And the exam cost as of now is 99 USD. Uh, for a limited time period, there is a 50% off, which makes the cost 249.5 USD. So if you're interested in taking the exam, uh, now is the best time to take it. Now, let me go to Credly and show you. So this is my Credly site. So it shows me all the batches which I have received. If I open the GitHub Foundations, so I can uh, see that uh, it told me that you have uh, the badge was is issued to my name on 26th of January 24. And this validates these skills and you can cl even click on share and you can download the certification badge image, download certificate from here, share it on LinkedIn. So yeah, uh, all the best for your exam if you are going to take it in any time future. And these are like cool exams. GitHub has released these cool exams show, uh, to showcase your knowledge on GitHub specifically. So thanks everyone for watching this video. Have a good day.